10 Rarest Hot Wheels This American brand of scale cars has delighted the eyes of thousands of fans since its beginning. Despite many people considering these cars toys, some of them are considered worthy of a collection since they're incredibly rare. Join us in this adventure and discover the most priceless models. 1968 White Custom Camaro 2500 to describe this weird object, we have to consider that it was one of the first models presented to the public by the company in 1968. However, it's not its age which makes this a weird piece, but its peculiar white color. It's said that this color was a production mistake, and the white color it presents was used to test if the design had any imperfection to later be painted with its real color. Some of these were packaged and sold to retailers without being acknowledged that these were just prototypes of the final product. Nowadays, these are one of the weirdest cars worldwide, and its price is around $2,500, so it's believed that this piece in its original package would have a high cost. Another mystery about this case is that there is also a model painted in black, which hasn't been found yet. 1995 Collector No. 271 Funny Car there's a lot of rumors around the 271 model since there are only 12 of these in existence. However, this is probably a myth since some collectors affirm that there were around 144 made. On the other hand, even if this sounds incoherent, it isn't a coveted car. But the fleet with the number 271 in white letters and blue background is a jewel between collectors. It's so weird that only 20 owners have confirmed owning the model, which costs around $3,000 and $3,500 in its original package. 1970 Edge Schaefer Custom AMX The AMX model was a really popular car in the American market. However, the Edge Schaefer Custom AMX was only sold in the United Kingdom as part of the exclusive racing car series, which imitated different vehicles, in particular, the Edge Shaver, which was protrocinated by Hot Wheels. You're probably wondering what the differences were from both products. Basically, the British version had the original stickers. Nowadays, there's only a few of this model, which makes its price pretty inaccessible since it's a piece of a collection. An Edge Shaver with the original stickers can cost up to $400,000. 1970 Red Baron with White Interior It's said that this piece was inspired by the Peanuts character that appears in the chapters where Snoopy flies around on a house and fights a German enemy that looks a lot like Manfred von Richthofen, who was also known as the Red Baron. This is evident because the car design has a German infantry helmet used in the First World War. The most remarkable characteristic of this piece was its white color, since the monogram company manufactured this piece in black. However, when Hot Wheels launched the 1970 Red Baron edition, it had a different interior, which called the attention. Despite all of this, the model wasn't sold too expensive. Actually, there's a few Red Baron with a white interior, which is a total challenge for the collectors to find, and its cost is approximately $3,000. 1974 Blue Roger Dodger This model was launched in 1974 and was inspired by the 73 Dodge Charger SE, debuting inside the Hot Wheels flying colors with a plum tone. Here is where the rarity begins, because in the Hot Wheels pages, a blue-colored Dodge Charger SE doesn't have this blue tonality. However, hundreds of collectors say that this car is basically a treasure thanks to its high level of shortage. There are rumors that affirm that this model was only sold in the United Kingdom, and that there were only seven of these magnificent cars. Because of this, its price is extremely high. A clear example of this is that in 2011, an original Blue Roger Dodger of 1974 was sold for $8,000. 1968 Cheetah Base Python, Hong Kong This model is known as Python, and what makes it weird is its name, Cheetah, because according to the story, this was one of the first 16 models that the company was launching to the market. When they were launched, some of them were wrongly called Cheetah, which is proved in the inferior part of the vehicle. Because there were already other cars with this name, it wasn't presented in the market, at least not as Cheetah, because it was changed to Python. However, some prototypes spaced the substitution process and made it to the market with a peculiar distinctive. Nowadays, it's one of the most coveted models by this company's lovers since it costs around $10,000, a price that will get higher with the passage of time. 1968 Hot Pink Beatnik Bandit Same as the Cheetah, 
This was one of the first models ever launched to the market in the year 1978, which were known as the original 16 or also as the Sweet 16. Based on a prototype built by Ed Roth, this car gave a lot to talk because of its peculiar design, which had a dome roof. Because of this characteristic, the car itself is pretty peculiar. The model made in the United States had a joystick instead of a steering wheel. Despite that these details made this an unusual car, the company weren't done with this model because in their attempt to reach the female market, they launched the car in a hot pink color. We don't need to say that they failed, so just a few of them were sold. Since they were so short in production, it isn't weird that this vehicle has one of the highest prices and is one of the most coveted vehicles. It's said that an original hot pink beatnik bandit can cost up to $15,000, being one of the most valuable Hot Wheels to date. 1969 Pink Rear-Loading Volkswagen Beach Bomb This car was launched in 1969 and is considered the holy grail of Hot Wheels since it is the first Mattel attempt to make a Volkswagen bus. You might be wondering, what makes this car so weird? The answer is that, basically, the company didn't get along with the females, since there were only two pink color cars made, trying to reach the female market. It's known that one of the owners of this model is the collector Bruce Pascal. However, the other vehicle, which is a prototype, is still lost. Because of how rare this car is, and how few there were made, its cost is pretty high, even appearing on the show Pawn Stars. It was there where Pascal refuses an offer of $70,000 since, for him and for thousands of collectors, its price can easily go up to $150,000. 1970 Mad Maverick Base Mighty Maverick This car was inspired by a Ford Maverick and was called the Mighty Maverick, which was produced in great masses. However, before being launched to the market, the company in the pre-production phase had a designated name already, at least in the prototypes, which was the Mad Maverick. This generated a big problem since the Johnny Lightning Company, which also produced scale cars, had a model with the same name, so Hot Wheels had to change it. Despite this, a few models with the name of Mad Maverick made it to the markets, which are considered extremely rare. Because of this production accident, the number of prototypes isn't known nowadays. Some collectors say that there's only five, having extremely high prices. 40th Anniversary Diamond Encrusted Auto Unlike the already mentioned cars, this car wasn't produced or sold in masses because it was created in 2008 to commemorate the 40th anniversary of Hot Wheels. It's probably the most expensive car made by the company since it has blue, black, and white diamonds and a few rubies that cover the 18-karat white gold frame. The cost of this vehicle is $140,000 because of how many jewels it has. However, if it were to be sold these days, its price would be unreachable. No doubt, the rarest cars from this brand are the most valuable for the collectors. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and activate the notification bell so you don't miss any of our videos. That was all for today. See you next time.